What in the? Okay, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but they're drilling in the hallway. So I hope it's not too loud. I mean, the sounds of New York. Hello everyone, Monroe Steele here from Fashion Still NYC and welcome back to my channel. Do not forget to like and subscribe if you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel. So I'm finally doing it. I'm doing a proper morning routine video. That is what we're doing today. I'm taking you from the time I wake up until 12 p.m. noon Eastern Standard Time here in Harlem, New York, New York. I know many of us are self-isolating and practicing social distancing, at least I hope we all are, to slow the spread of the coronavirus. A lot of you are staying home from work or after work you're pretty much staying in the house and I really hope that that's what y'all are doing. Like that's what you need to be doing. I hope you're doing it. Do your part. It helps. So I thought, why not go ahead and show my morning routine as a person who actually works from home every single day. I am a full-time influencer, full-time blogger. I've been full-time influencing and blogging for the past year and four months. It was a serious transition from working a nine to five every day to working at home and trying to actually be productive and actually get work done. I wrote a whole blog post about it. So if you're interested in that, definitely head over to my blog, Fashion Still NYC, and check out that blog post where I give you five tips for working from home without going crazy and actually getting work done. Yes, that is indeed the name of the post. I'm gonna quickly show you guys my outfit even though I'm gonna go through getting this outfit together in this video. And then I'm just gonna talk you guys through my day. Also, if you work from home or if you're thinking about being a full-time blogger or a full-time entrepreneur who actually works from home, hopefully you can find some tips just by watching this video. So let's get into my outfit and then we will get into my day. Let go. I am wearing these Cult Guy earrings that you probably saw in my previous five top spring trends video. Statement earrings was one of my things. This top is from Gires Fatim, based in Paris. I will put a link down to it below. For the jeans, I'm wearing my favorite white distressed a goldie jeans. These are available. I love them. Seriously, they're like the most perfect jeans for spring and summer. White denim. It's nice and thick they wear well and then on my feet i'm wearing my dolce vita raffia mules these are super comfortable they come in so many different colors i also have them in white but literally they have them in every color guys they are perfect for spring and summer and there is a link down to them below i feel very summerish it's like i'm ready for this quarantine to be over So my day typically starts between 6 and 7 a.m. Usually I wake up around 6.30 on the dot, but today I woke up a little bit later. I usually work on Mondays, so this is actually a Monday that I'm recording this video because I wanted you guys to get a really clear view of what I do on an actual work day. It is Monday, March the 16th. Usually before I even open my eyes, I kind of think about how I want the day to go. Then I get up, I turn off my humidifier because I need one. Like humidifiers are God sense. The heat in my apartment is just detrimental to my health. Like it was causing nosebleeds, dry skin. Having a humidifier has been amazing. It also just helps me sleep better and I feel like it keeps my skin moisturized. So then I go into the bathroom and y'all I do wear a, like a silky satin head wrap to sleep. It is a wonder that it actually stayed on last night. Like I was very surprised to wake up and it was still on my head. It often comes off but before I start my skincare routine I usually take that off and replace it with a head wrap 
I don't know what it is. I don't like wearing the same like silk scarf that I wear to sleep to actually like be about in my apartment during the day. Usually because I get a lot of packages, I get a lot of like messenger packages over and I like to just be a little bit more presentable in case I have to open the door. So a lot of you have been asking me to do more head wrap tutorials. That is coming soon, but this is one of my favorite ones that a friend gave to me and literally I tie it just like I tie a knot and then I tie a bow and that's it. <laughs> it's like super easy to do. wash my face and then I use my favorite product it is pixie beauty vitamin C tonic I put a little bit on a Chanel cotton wipe and I just pretty much saturate my entire face I let it dry for about a minute And then I followed that up with my new favorite product. It's called Hyper, Hyper Clear Brightening Clearing Vitamin C Serum. It is actually a black owned business and you guys, it has done wonders for lighting my hyperpigmentation using a combination of those two products. So I just put a generous amount of that on my face and I pretty much leave that on until I actually do my makeup for the day. that I usually make it a point to make my bed every day my bed is pretty much untouched like I'm one of those people who sleeps kind of like a mummy like I just don't really move during the night it's actually quite hilarious all of my boyfriends are like anytime we sleep together in the same bed they're just like you barely even move in your sleep like <laughs> I didn't even notice that you were there. I don't know why, I just kind of stay in my like that one little place. So really when I make my bed, I don't have to do much. Like literally just flip back the thing and it's done. But I did read somewhere that like most successful people, like millionaires, one of the things that they do is make their bed every day. So I'm not a millionaire yet, but I plan on being one soon. So I wanted to go ahead and adopt those healthy mindset habits. So without fail, I make my bed every day even though I'm just gonna get right back into it I do I gotta do. after that I usually make myself a drink I either pour myself a glass of water or a glass of beet juice and right now I'm loving this beet juice by beetology it's like beet juice and like cherries or something beets and cherries and I get it from my local grocery store it's actually really hard to get and so I tend to buy them in bulk like literally I bought every last one that they had in the grocery store recently because I knew I was gonna be hunkered down here for a while and like I have to have my beet juice I just have to I usually pour about half a glass and then I go and I check my phone so if you watched my home decor video you know I have a special table and it's basically where my phone lives I don't sleep with my phone in the same room with me I place this phone on like a little table in the living room and I before I go to sleep and I rarely look at it so after I've already had like a little drink I might just go and look at my phone and basically I just look just to see if I have any text messages those are the only notifications that I actually have on on my phone I don't have notifications for anything else no apps like nothing I don't get any notifications I find that too many of them give me like anxiety and I already have enough. I'll check my phone, see if I have any text messages and then usually I will do some reading anywhere from 30 minutes to probably like 30 minutes, 30 to 45 minutes. I like to sit in my little nook with my book and my juice and just kind of start the day off with 
positive vibes and positive information. Right now, I'm like reading two different books. I'm reading You're a Badass at Making Money by Jen Sincero. She also wrote You're a Badass <laughs> at Life. I love that book and this book is so good. Like the information in this book will make you get up off your ass and like live your best life. And, and make money like I know people always say that like money is not like the key to happiness and it's not but it's nice to have so unless you think positive thoughts about money like it's always gonna be elusive to you and this book just really helped me look at money in a different way it's just an amazing book to not only help you make more money but also to help you like change your life change your mentality for the better so that's one book i'm reading i'm also reading another book called mindset but right now i'm very deep into the making money book so if you guys are interested in that book i will put a link down to it below so you could just see the kind of gems that are dropped in this book like uh start your day off with reading something so inspiring and like how can you not succeed at life like how can you not it's impossible so usually around 8 a.m is when i actually start my work for the day on mondays i usually post a blog post every monday and every friday so today was a day that i needed to publish a blog post i do all of my blog posts i write them all i take all the photos and i edit them all in advance so this post has actually been sitting in drafts for about a week it was supposed to go live friday but instead on the fly i decided to write a more time sensitive post about working from home i thought that people would benefit from that more with everything happening and so that was kind of a spur of the moment post and so this one i just already had it was ready to go all i had to do was proofread it so i spent about 10 minutes just rereading it looking at the preview of it making sure everything is spelled right making sure i linked everything properly and then i go ahead and publish that and after i publish it i usually create a bitly link for it and i post it to all of my social media i post it to facebook linkedin twitter i also do a few pins of photos from that post onto my pinterest pretty much just blasting it out to to every social media site that i'm a part of and i definitely like doing that i know there are like apps and things that'll do those types of things for you but i'm very much hands-on and it's kind of very type a so i like to do those things my, myself and make sure that it gets done so my blog posts usually goes live around 8 30. between 8 30 and 9 i kind of blast it out to every social media site and then between 9 a.m and 9 10 a.m i post a corresponding instagram photo to go with that blog post kind of alert alerting people letting people know that there's a new blog post up and to check it out so right after i post a brand new post i kind of respond to all of my dms and all of my comments from the previous instagram post and then i kind of put my phone down and i kind of just chill usually this is my time for either showering or working out or grabbing a bite to eat for this day i actually grab something to eat i love these little bars they're so delicious i don't really eat breakfast like that i mean sometimes i eat breakfast but usually it's just like a quick piece of fruit or a breakfast bar and then i work out now i don't work out every day y'all I'm gonna keep it a buck. I usually work out every other day and my workouts are always different. Some days I do my own workout that I tailor to myself where I'm like focused on abs or core or focused on legs or arms. And I've actually done a whole like workout video. If you're interested in what I do, I'll link that video down below. Other days I might just choose a dance video from YouTube. I have a few favorites. Most of them are like dancing to Soka or like Brooke Wine or some kind of dancing video. I'll link the one that I did today. It's actually pretty old. It's from like seven years ago, but I've been doing it for seven years. Like that's how good it is. It makes you sweat. I am wearing my airy workout gear, matching top and bottom set that you may have seen in a previous vlog, but I love this set, y'all. This Brooke Wine workout, it will get you sweating okay and it will get your heart going and the good thing about it is it's only about 20 minutes long but like 
you work your entire body out you work your legs you work your abs you work your arms and so yeah it's a really great workout I, don't, I will put a link down to that video below and you guys can check it out after working out I usually drink a lot of water <laughs> water is amazing someone once sent me a message that said I don't drink enough water and that's why I have bad skin and like that was just so rude like you guys I'm not gonna show myself like drinking water all the time like that's so boring and that's a really rude thing to say but anywho she got blocked I drink some water and then I usually hop in the shower I love using the Dove foaming body wash Ugh you guys it's so good if I don't use that one I'll use the suave one that I featured in a previous vlog but I shower and then that's when I kind of get ready for the day you guys I've been using this new dove deodorant it is so good what it does is it helps the discoloration sorry <laughs> Clearly I have some on. It helps the hyperpigmentation that we can sometimes get here. The skin of our underarms is actually very sensitive, probably more sensitive than the skin on your face. And like we manhandle our armpits, like we shave them and we scrub them and like, they're super sensitive. The Even Tone Dove deodorant. I've been using it for about two weeks and yeah, it works. Like this was way darker, you guys, like way darker. And this helps with the hyperpigmentation under your arms. It's clinically proven to show a difference within two weeks and it has for me. So if you're interested in that, I'll put a link down to it below. It was a gift from the Dove team. I went to one of their events maybe like two weeks ago and this product, the Even Tone deodorant just dropped. So from one melanated person to probably someone else who's melanated or has an issue with hyperpigmentation under your arms, it works. And I also use a lot of the Dove cream oil, the Shea Butter one. It smells so good and I like slather it all over my body. Anywho, <laughs> After that, I pretty much go back to working. I'll usually check my emails and kind of filter out, delete things and kind of favorite things that I need to check on. I'll also go ahead and reply to however many messages I've gotten since I posted my Instagram photo. I mean, responding to comments and DMs, that's kind of, that's part of my job. Like, I feel like if someone takes the time to leave a comment the least i can do is acknowledge it so i try to do that i also go onto my youtube channel and then i check my comments on youtube and favor them and read them and answer any questions i can't get to answer them all most of the time but i like to at least favorite them and like them so people know that I actually read them. I think that's the most that I can do to thank people for actually taking the time to write a comment and for watching my videos and supporting me. I also like to check on my monies. <laughs> so I go to my Etsy shop, see how many sales, how much revenue I've generated. I do the same for YouTube. I look at my analytics. I see how my videos are doing, how my AdSense is doing. I go to my reward style. I see what I'm selling. I'm seeing what people are buying, what people are gravitating towards to kind of see what people might want more of in terms of content. And then after I do all of that, I like actually start to get ready for my day. I usually start with picking out an outfit. I'll go into my clothes. And right now I've noticed that people are gravitating towards spring summer clothes. In fact, a lot of people are already buying bathing suits based on like my analytics from my like to know it, my reward style. So I know people want more summery type of outfits. And so this is what I went with today. I like to pick things that are still available. People tend to get upset when they can't buy something or they can't find something. And I mean, I know that's not my fault, but I try to do the, <laughs> the best that I can without shoving buy, buy, buy down people's throats. But a lot of times that's because people want to be able to buy it. They do. And they get a little upset when it's sold out or when a link isn't working. <laughs> So I just try to do the best that I can. With this outfit, only about two or three things that I'm wearing are actually still available, so I link those. After I kind of figure out what I'm gonna wear, I go ahead and I do my makeup for the day. I always start my makeup by actually washing my face because I have to wa wash off that Hyper Clear Brightening Clearing Serum. So after I wash my face, I usually follow that up with some sunscreen. And my favorite right now is Super Goop, the 40 sunscreen. It's just so good. You don't need a lot. And then I go in and I do my regular makeup routine. I like 
using NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. I use two different ones and kind of mix them together. And then I go in with a little Laura Mercier translucent powder. After that, I get to these brows. I use a little boy brow and top that off with a little bit of Sephora Brow Collection retractable pencil. It's amazing. Today I went with my favorite orange, which is the Sephora I Love palette in Jewel Tone. I use my Artiste brush to evenly apply that. And then I went in with my Chanel mascara primer. You guys, it is the best mascara primer. It is so good. It just makes your eyelashes fan out. It gives them length. It gives them curve. It just, it makes them pop. And then I use a little Laura Mercier Caviar Chrome mascara. For my lips, I go in with NARS Dance Fever. It is my favorite velvet matte lip pencil. It looks very nudie. I love it. For my cheeks, I use my favorite NARS Wanted 2 palette. There's like an orangey color that I like to use as a highlight and two pinks that I mix for my blush. And then to top it off for a highlight, I use NARS St. Bart's Highlight. My palette broke, but I still use it because it's good. I use it on my nose and kind of around this area. Sometimes I go all the way up Sometimes I come right down here into my cupid's bow as well. And that's pretty much my makeup look. For my hair, I just use a little water and just like a little bit of Eco Styling Gel with Argon Oil. It's the best one. Right now I'm rocking a side part instead of a middle part. I think I like it. I had to change it up a bit. I think I'm actually gonna get braids soon. So that will cut down massively on my morning routine. So once my makeup is done and I put on my outfit, gotta love these earrings, they're so good. I usually go ahead and get started with my Insta stories for the day, which is pretty much why I even put on clothes and put on makeup. It's because I always want to do Insta stories to alert my viewers and my readers that there's also a new blog post. Contrary to popular belief, not everyone is scrolling the gram. So some people are probably going to miss my photo that I posted to alert people to a new blog post, but they won't miss my Insta stories. They'll definitely watch my stories. A lot more people watch my stories than actually see my Instagram photo or in interact with it. So I make it a point to always do stories anytime I post something on my blog or on my YouTube channel. Good morning Insta Stories and happy Monday. It's Monday so there is a new blog post up on Fashion Still NYC. So I just go through, I do my stories for the day. I let people know that there's a new blog post, which today is five tips for manifesting the life you want. It's a good post. Should definitely go check it out if you haven't yet. Then, of course, I do my morning dance. So if you follow me on Instagram, and you should, because my Instagram is extra lit. I usually dance every morning while I make a cup of coffee and usually, I'm dancing to soca music or afro beats because soca is life and afro beats are amazing. It's definitely the, the happiest two genres of music in the world. So if you can't rock out to it, something's wrong with you. <laughs> if you can't at least bop a little bit, even if you can't do it on beat, like, what are you doing? What are you doing in life? And a lot of people ask me if I have a, a playlist, and I do. I do, you guys. It's over on SoundCloud. I'll put a link to it below. It's called Monroe's But First Coffee Playlist, and it has a few of my favorite soca songs and Afro beats on it. So get with it. And to all of those who think that my coffee cup is empty, it's actually quite full whenever I'm dancing. Like, yes, there's still some coffee in there. The cup always has coffee in it. Like. It does. I've actually spilled it before, so yeah. If you watch me on Instagram, you've probably seen me spill some coffee. I love my Nespresso 
virtual line machine i think it's the virtual plus and it's amazing i use it every single day gotta love nespresso who out there is yelling chillax sir the hazelnut and i love my creamer it's coffee mate and some of y'all try to drag me for using coffee mate but like i'm lactose intolerant so i can't use real cream and this is lactose free cholesterol free sugar free and some other things free and it's perfect for me your girl cannot drink milk okay i will explode after my stories are done, I usually save them all and then I upload them to Instagram and I start posting them all. But the thing is, I also have to like link my blog post, I have to link my YouTube video, I have to link my outfit and like literally it takes me no less than 30 minutes to post my my insta stories every morning that takes about 30 minutes and then once i'm done posting my stories i usually go back again and respond to any comments i've gotten on my photo for to for that day any dms <laughs> so i just got finished posting my insta stories for the day and now what i like to do is lay on this roll because i tend to have a lot of neck pain from looking down at my phone and at my laptop i usually put my phone away right now it's about 12 30 and i lay here on this roll and watch <laughs> youtube right now i'm watching a little bit of makeup by shayla i actually just found her channel maybe like three days ago. That's how you all can tell I'm a newbie when it comes to YouTube, like, I don't really know nobody. <laughs> so this is basically what I do. I lie here and I watch a little bit of TV. Sometimes I rotate my neck to kind of relax the muscles in my neck. I tend to hold a lot of tension in my neck and so that helps. All right guys, so that is it. It's after morning. I am actually gonna take these clothes off. I'm gonna take my makeup off. I'm going to put on some sunscreen because it's quite bright in my living room. I don't just like keep makeup on throughout the day for no reason. I'm just gonna be at home. And now I'm just going to relax for the rest of the day. I don't have any work to do, which is awesome. I'm just gonna enjoy watching a little TV. And there you have it, my work from home as a full-time blogger and influencer morning routine. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do give me a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to never miss a video and also ring that little notification bell or press that little notification bell so that you can be notified anytime I drop a new video. I don't want you to miss it. All right. Let's relax. And as always, everything is linked down below in the description box. The products I use, my outfit, the videos I mentioned, the books I mentioned as well, you can find down below in the description box. And I'll see you guys in the next video.